we have learned about the elements. We learned that they are pure substances that, can, that have the same kind of atoms and cannot be broken down into any simpler form by any known chemical process. Um, as it kept going, scientists made those discoveries of all elements. I think we have 118 elements. It is not all you use, so don't be scared. Um, two scientists really made a good discovery because the basis of chemistry is the element. The element is the basis. That you, it is these elements that come together to form a compound. So you, it, is, it is advisable you have to know how to write their symbols and their, their formulas. So, the first two scientists that really played a role, we had Dalton. And Dalton helped to, to represent the, sim the symbols of the element. He used diagrams. So, in Dalton's way, we had hydrogen as this and then this. We, have, we had sulfur as a big zero with this and then this. Phosphorus was this, 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 and then this. So imagine drawing this. This is just hydrogen, you know. This is just sulfur. And this is phosphorus. The rest, are, the rest haven't come. You can just imagine. So at a point, um, scientists... It became so cumbersome because they kept discovering elements. And then another scientist brought another means of naming the element. And it's called... Berzelius. And then Berzelius' system of naming is what we use now. And um, he decided to use the first letter in the name of the element to represent its symbol or the second, the first two letters in the name. So hydrogen is H. Helium is H-E. Lithium is L-I. Carbon is C. So the first two elements in the name of the element as a symbol or the first letter. And then he realized that at the point you were getting some elements looking like each other, symbol-wise. If you choose... There's an element called cobalt. Cobalt is CO. There's carbon. There's lithium. There's aluminium. So he resorted to some of the Latin and Greek names of some of the elements because they were actually conflicting. So some of the elements you might come across have Latin names. An example, we have... Um, so these are some of the elements that have Latin names. You remember potassium. Potassium should have been, let's say, if we're going by the P, the first letter, or the first two letters, potassium would have been a P or a PO. But no, potassium is K because it was named after the Latin name, and that is kalium. So potassium is K. If you come to iron, iron should have been, let's say, I or IR. No, iron was named after the Latin name. And the Latin name of iron is ferrum. So iron is F and then a small E. It goes on like that. We have copper. Copper is CO. Imagine Copper as CO or a C. Of course, carbon is also a C. So copper as a C will confuse. If copper is a CO, cobalt is also a CO. So copper was named after its Latin name as cuprum. That is why we have the symbol of copper as C2. It goes on and on. Gold should have been GO. <laughs> should have been GO, but no. Gold was named after its Latin name as aurum. So the chemical symbol for gold is A, 
Jew. It goes on and on. Then sodium should have been SO, G O and SO, but sodium was named after the Latin element as natrium. So, with this in mind, let's now go back and look at our first 20 elements. This is not the first time you will be hearing the first 20 elements, but I'm here to make it simple with a, a nice mnemonic, a short form to help you have it in memory so we can enjoy chemistry. So we have hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. So let's just use this one. So hydrogen, high, helium, hello, so the first letter H, second to helium, listen, Li. B, B, C, now on foreign news. So, hi, hello, listen, BBC, now on foreign news. The first ten is gone. Hi, hello, listen, BBC, now on foreign news. The next set of ten elements to make it 20. We have sodium. So this is nations might also sing peaceful songs clearly around potassium and calcium. Isn't this interesting? Nations might sing peaceful songs clearly around potassium and calcium. So this is the last 10 and the first 10. So hi, hello, listen, B, B, C, now on foreign news, nations might also sing peaceful songs clearly around potassium and calcium. This will help you remember the first 20 elements. And yes, this will help you remember the first 20 elements. So have it in mind. Yes, the first 20 elements. And also remember that some of the elements have been named according to their Latin names too. Yes, so it's another interesting episode on the elements.